Attorney Eric Guster. Uh, Eric, uh, thanks for being with us tonight. Uh, where did I go wrong there? Oh, you went, you went very wrong. Okay, now, tell me. First of all, the president was handed an administration in one of the worst recessions that this country has had. And he's also addressed a lot of crime, regardless of if you want to, uh, want to acknowledge that or not. Because he sent federal officials when there were school shootings and mass school shootings where little white children were killed. So let's not, let's not go there, Judge Janine. Well, let's go there. There. Let's talk about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. Right. All that talk about Trayvon could have been my son. I'm going to start a civil oh, rights absolutely. investigation. Nothing happened. There you was know, no civil rights. And you know rights how the federal case. government they investigate they civil rights. Him. They investigate civil rights violations all the time. Many yeah. of them are not in media, whether it's white, no, no, I'm whether it's about women. Trayvon and George. No, I'm talking about in general. No, I'm you're pulling out questions. one or two I'm cases. I'm asking you that because you're, he you're talking about one flames. or two cases. Do you agree cases. with me, Eric? Yes one or no. One or two cases. Was there a civil rights finding in the George Zimmerman case, yes or no? That is a very interesting point. No, what's but that? No, you no, can't answer no, no. the question. No, I'm not. Because the issue, you can't be the on issue the show. is no. The issue is whether or not there was a likelihood of one. And there was, with those okay. facts, no. there was a what chance. What was the upshot? There was a chance. You know what? Let's let's not talk about wishing and hoping. Did there was the a chance. federal Department of you Justice? Can, you don't know unless did you the investigate, Judge Janine. Uh, I'm asking you a question. Answer it. Did the Federal Department of Justice find a civil rights violation in the George Zimmerman Trayvon Martin case? Yes or no? No. Haven't, they, haven't the Justice Department? No, you're they afraid have to, to answer the question. I didn't they ask you They have to investigate that. it. You know what? They have to Here's be fair and investigate it, Here's Justin a problem. Mean? You're not answering don't you agree the question. With that? Why don't you answer the question? Because you don't want to. So let's move on. <laughs> Do you think that there was something sinister that went on in the uh, Eric Garner case in the grand jury? I can't call it sinister, but that was an injustice. For them not to indict this police officer who killed a man on tape, that is something that is horribly wrong with the system. When a police officer can choke a man, kill him, and not be charged. And, the, and another problem with that, Judge Janine, is that he died right there with officers standing around without giving him CPR. Okay. Let, that let is a travesty. Something. Let me say something. My heart goes out to him, and I, I have to tell you, you heard, mm -hmm. I convicted first cop in the history of, this, uh, of New York killing an African American. I, I've defended to me, it's about them justice. Too. It's about justice, all right? right? And, and I was and offended fairness. by that. But if there was some kind of problem, you're the offended grand by jury, how? Why did? Offended by why, what? Listen to me. No, I'm trying why to understand the question. Why did the grand jury or the DA seek to release the minutes if you if there was a problem in that grand? He wanted the DA wanted those minutes released. The judge understood. Under New York law wouldn't allow it. Why? If there was a problem, why would he want those minutes released? It was clearly a problem. It was a problem from the beginning. First of all, he gave immunity to every officer out there, which means that he knew, I believe, that he knew what they were going to say. When you give people immunity who could be culpable in a murder, or a manslaughter or a criminally negligent homicide because according to Eric Garner's uh, autopsy report, there was choking as well as chest issues okay. with chest compressions. Right, but you which know means what? that if, you're, if, one, if next being choked by one person and uh, the other issues were caused by another, that means there could have been two but here's who were responsible. Here's and thing. you know very well that criminally negligent homicide can reach out to other people who were involved. When they did not render aid, they could all be charged. Yeah, but with the grand jury didn't indict for man manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide. They, they weren't said, giving tr criminal uh, negligent homicide. Yes, they were. I don't believe they were. Yes, they were. Don't question me on this one. He, okay. they were given I, I may be mistaken on no, that. No, you are mistaken. But let and me ask you this. Don't you, but don't but you agree, listen to me. Judge Janine, in don't you agree that a, a, the a person in a who is Look, not... We can't both talk at the same time. I know. That's why I'm asking you a question. You've already answered my question. Here's my, here's my statement to you. Okay. If you want to get someone to assist you in identifying whether or not someone had committed a crime. You we had a tape. Immunity. We had a tape. But the tape. We had a. We had to, several recordings. Okay. What else do you need? But, but they had nine weeks of investigation, and they said they that had at several 50 recordings. witnesses. Fifty witnesses. They had who several said recordings. That there was no crim neg you, or reckless manslaughter. Hold on, what? Several witnesses. What? That there were fifty witnesses who testified.
in that and, grand jury case. Okay, right. Civilians. Right, as well as experts and doctors, as well as the, the cops who have had immunity, which this is a fraternity. Police officers are in a fraternity, and I right. don't I don't think for one second that some of them told the truth. Okay, well, you know what? Absolutely. We'll see whether or not this civil rights investigation brings up some Oh, yeah. Uh, now, this one, Eric and Garner, I believe back, it will. And you can come back and answer that one. All right, Eric Uster, thanks for being with us Thank tonight. you. All right. And coming up, Sheriff David Clark.